Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I hope you all are doing good and well. It is now pretty much the last week of January and I can't believe um, you know the first month is already gone. And in case of you guys don't know, I am now in the 30s club. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, uh, in today's video, I'm going to be trying on the Makeup Forever setting spray because I needed a new setting spray. And you know what? The, the previous one didn't really work out for me too well. Yeah. So before we get started with the video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and ring the bell so you're notified when I do upload a new video. And don't forget to give this a, a thumbs up if you like Makeup Forever or just makeup in general or if you, even if you're just having a good day. And don't forget to follow me on my social media handles and we will get started with the video. Okay, so the product I'm trying out today is the Makeup Forever Light Velvet Air Setting Spray. As you guys know, it takes... I don't know how many setting sprays I have to like search for. It's it's like high and low, left and right, it's, it's everywhere. So it's hard for me to find a good setting spray that holds up my makeup, doesn't make me look oily. I'm pretty sure everyone has a checklist like this as well. So I was really intrigued to try this out because, you know, light velvet air. Mm. So this retails for $36 and you do get 3.38 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters. So this is supposed to be a mattifying setting spray that blurs the look of imperfections and refreshes skin for a long lasting shine finish. So they do have some highlight ingredients in here. They have aloe vera, um, they help smooth the skin and maintain the hydration. There's mattifying powers to reduce the shine for a velvety feel. And then there's the green lentil extracts which helps to refine the appearance of pore size. I do like the mattifying part of it, so I'm definitely curious how it will wear throughout the day. I am doing a lot of things outside today, um, so we'll see how that holds up. Right now, it is actually 1 o'clock. I actually start getting ready at around 11, 10 or 11 o'clock. And it's it's been a couple of hours so far, hard to say, but we'll see later on in the day. But in the meantime, um, it's supposed to achieve a natural looking but mattifying finish, which is very intriguing to me because when you hear natural, I don't really incorporate mattifying with natural. Not really. So we'll see how that works. And it's supposed to deliver a soft focus mattifying powders to minimize the look of pores and provide shine control. And aloe vera helps refresh. So you can use this as a setting spray or you could use it throughout the day to refresh your makeup. Um, of course, as you guys are well aware, because I do have a job and I'm out for 12 hour days, I don't really refresh my makeup or anything like that. And I want to see how it is throughout the day, breaks down, if it holds up, so forth, right? So when I did use it, it was a good spray. It wasn't like very, it wasn't like spritzy or too fine. I think it was a good amount. Some people might want it to be a little bit finer. I, I don't want it to be that fine, but it was a good spray. And you do have to shake it before you use it. Um, I think most of them are like that just to get the active ingredients mixed together and everything. So just so you guys know. Um, so in any case, uh, I will see you guys in a little bit. I hope to do a little bit of check-ins throughout the day and see how this works again it is now about one o'clock so we shall see how this is like so fingers crossed because i don't want to keep searching for a new setting spray it's very tiresome and yeah so i'll see you guys in a bit so it's about 5 30 here and i've noticed that around my nose and my cheeks my pores still quite blurred and my forehead still looks very very mad um so no complaints so far <sighs> okay, you guys, so it's now 8.37, as you guys can see right, as you guys can see right there. Um, I've had this on for about, let's see, for 10 hours now. So I'm just going to pull up my mirror, and we're going to have a closer look. Okay, so what I've noticed with the spray is that it still left my face looking quite matte. I'm very impressed by that. So my face is looking quite matte. However, I've noticed that around the side of my nose didn't really last too long. Um, so it's probably because it wasn't a I didn't spray enough for it to like reach there yet. But just so you guys know, like it was cracking around my nose, but my pores, my T zone, still looking pretty matte and flawless. It doesn't feel dry or anything, and I've been outside all day and trust me when i say all day i've been outside in minus five weather all day and nothing is cracking 
um, it's still staying put it doesn't feel dry like I said and it's still holding you up quite a bit which I'm quite impressed by um, again pores still looking good and it doesn't look like I produced that much oil as well. Like you can see that there is wear to the to the foundation, but the setting spray definitely made it look matte. Like it kept the shine at bay. Um, again, you can see a little bit wear, maybe just around the nose area. But overall, I don't hate it. Um, yeah, I don't hate this at all. It doesn't make me look too dry or too mattifying or anything. So I really actually like this so far. I mean, for $36, this should be working well. And the fact that it's makeup forever, come on. Um, so I have no complaints about this, you guys. Like it definitely kept the shine at bay. Like I said, it hydrated. Um, I don't look, I don't have like crusty feeling um, with some mattifying sprays do, you know, just it just feels very drying, right? It doesn't feel that way whatsoever. I really, really enjoy this. So I definitely, definitely approve of this uh, setting spray. If you guys are interested in it or just need one in general or if you want to try something new, right? Take a look at this. I really, really like that. It definitely still gave my, my foundation a velvety look to it. My skin definitely does look like it's uh, like radiating naturally. There's a soft focus to it. It definitely delivers what it said it's supposed to do. And also another thing as well, I forgot to mention that there is no alcohol in here, which is very hard to come by for a mattifying spray because usually alcohol combats the shine and everything. But also with alcohol and setting sprays, depending how high it is on the list, it can like age you a little quicker like premature aging everything so the fact that there is no alcohol in here i love it even more so definitely go check this out again if you guys are interested in it and are searching for a new setting spray but in any case i hope you guys enjoy this video um again definitely check out the setting spray i don't know how many times i have to say i definitely approve of this uh, so before you guys leave make sure you check out these other two videos right here if you haven't done so already which I don't know why you wouldn't anyways, but uh, check them out right here before you leave. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.